Hello and welcome to Instablog's Global Reports. This is Sukhmani with fresh updates and more citizen voices from all over the world. Stories for the day are Mexican soldiers raid a drug gang house in Monterrey seizing 5 million US dollars meant for police and press. Kenya put on notice over El Nino rains expected to hit the country any time now. And sky-high prices make gold unaffordable for common man in Pakistan. Acting on an anonymous tip, the Mexican army raided a drug gang safe house in northern Mexican city of Monterrey to find money-stuffed envelopes containing over $5 million in U.S. and Mexican currency, earmarked for various police forces and one mark for the press. A CJ from Mexico has more on the story. Soldiers raiding a drug gang safe house in northern Mexico found money-stuffed envelopes earmarked for various police forces and one marked for the press. Four people were arrested and over $5 million in U.S. and Mexican currency was seized during the raid Monday in the industrial city of Monterrey. Soldiers acting on an anonymous tip also seized drugs, money counting machines, cell phones, and five vehicles. Monterrey and the surrounding state of Nuevo León, which borders Texas, have been a focus of the federal government's crackdown on police corruption. The cash and seized items were displayed at military barracks north of the city with dozens of white envelopes containing some of the cash arranged in rows on the table. Envelopes at the front of the rows had yellow post-it notes with the names of police precincts in Monterrey and other municipal forces in Nuevo León State. One was boldly labeled Press. Army officials refused to say more about what the money was intended for, declining to comment beyond the above statement. Kenya has been put on alert after El Nino rains, which are expected to hit the country any time from now. Experts have warned that the expected heavy rainfall has the potential to wipe out at least 11% of Kenya's wealth unless proper preventative measures are put in place. CJ Rose Bangui states the rains will spell doom for the Kenyan economy. This is Rose Bangui, a citizen journalist from Kenya, reporting on Mr. Blocks. Kenya has been put on notice over El Nino rains which are expected to hit the country in time from now. Experts have warned that the expected heavy rain has the potential to wipe out at least 11% of Kenya's wealth unless proper preventive measures are put in place. Among the key areas to be affected are roads, water supply systems and health due to a possible outbreak of waterborne and related ailments. The country went through the same scenario in 1997-1998 when such rains caused damage of the same magnitude as expected if the heavy rain four pounds. The heavy rainfall is expected to fall between August 2009 and March 2010, with some parts of western Nyanza provinces already recording more than normal rainfall. Onset of rain in other parts of the country is expected to start latest by the second week of October. Although forecast to fall at a moderate rate compared to the heavy rainfall of the 1997-1998, the terrain has changed for the worse, with most of the vegetation cover having been lost, mostly through human activity. Artificial jewellery has come in vogue in Peshawar these days like other cities of the country as the burgeoning gold prices push the metal out of people's reach. CJ Kareem Khan from Pakistan says that women have started wearing inexpensive artificial jewellery made of plastic or metal alloys electroplated with gold. This is CJ Kareem Khan on Instablox from Peshawar in Pakistan. Since the unaffordable rise of gold prices in the past few months in the country, women in big cities have started turning to wear inexpensive artificial jewelry made of plastic or metal alloys electroplated with gold. The less well-off families already are used to wearing inexpensive artificial jewelry and the raise in gold prices has resulted in an immense increase in the popularity of inexpensive jewelry stalls in big cities. Special bazaars are set up in different parts of the cities where throngs of people can be seen shopping daily at night. Gold jewelry shops, on the other hand, are losing a large number of customers. Besides being affordable, artificial jewelry is becoming popular due to the rising incidence of street crimes in which people are robbed of jewelry at night. The increasing popularity of artificial jewelry has thus made selling inexpensive jewelry the new booming business in the country. If you want your voice to be heard by millions, let Instablogs be your choice. You can contact us at cj at instablogs.com. That's all for today's show. We'll be back with fresh updates and more citizen voices. Till then, it's goodbye from the entire team of Global Report.